Hello everyone, this is Ralph from Ralph's Trucking. As you can see, I am parked. Just delivered here in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. I'm gonna be stuck for 34 and I'll show you that here in a minute. By coming across from Kansas City area, I paid for parking at a Pilot Flying J in Millersport, Ohio. 122, oh no, it's 70. Because before Columbus, Ohio has on the uh, signs how many truck parking spots are at each rest area. And it was saying 10. I'm like, I have a film. It's close. going to be close to midnight. They're going to be zero. Even though it's a pretty big rest area. So I paid $18 to pay for parking. There was 15 open slots. Paid the 18 bucks. Drove on in to that Flying J at 122 on I-70 in Ohio. And lo and behold, not a spot to be had. Called up. I was on my 14 hour clock. I called up the store itself. Oh, I'm the only one. I can't go out there and get people to move. To, I got other drivers in here paid to park and there ain't nothing I can do. I can reimburse you. I'm like, dude, I ain't got time to wait in line. I gotta go. My 14 is ticking and clicking. So, I leave the pilot. I call customer service and they close at like 11 or 12 o'clock to get my $18 back. Go to that rest area. It was saying 11 spots available when I got to it. Go inside, go pull in. There was shoulder parking. I'm not parking on a shoulder. Hear tra traffic flying by your door, your door all day. Then I drove through the actual truck uh, rest area, which has probably 80 to 100 spots. Not a spot to be had. I don't park illegally. Make parking like a lot of drivers do. So I go down the road. I know that next loves, it's going to be a couple loves that's going to be busy, so I didn't even try. I tried to go, Mart, on the other side of I-77. I that was slam full, people making parking here and people making parking there. I go up the road a few bit, rest area, slam full, people parking anywhere and everywhere. Now the little trucks that right past it, it's slam full, people parking here, there, and everywhere. And I'm not parking on the ramp, I'm not parking on the shoulder. So I uh, kept on driving. Go to the TA there in Wheeling, West Virginia yesterday. Only parking they got available is paid parking. They don't have any free. I didn't see any free. Everywhere I saw said reserved. Got to drive around. There was open spots. So I went inside, had to pay $20 to park at the TA in Wheeling, West Virginia. She's like, I don't think there's any spots available. I'm like, on the app it says there's one. And there's several out there. And so she was able to give me one. And this morning I called Pilot Flying J and got my money back. So, here I am. Just parked here in Pottsville, Pennsylvania. So let's show you. They just, all the newer blacktop from that all the way back. There's what, one, two, three, four rows. They just probably added 40, 50 parking spots in each row. Like I said, there's a row there, there's a row there, there's a row there, and there's a, yeah, two rows in the middle, one on the other side. So there's four new rows they just put in. And um, parked against the building is, you can see, there's no parking up there at the office. But I have two hours and 15 minutes on my 70 hour clock. I pick up a whole whopping two hours and 15 minutes at midnight. So what does that mean for me? Yeah, let's talk about it. So within a night, yeah, tonight at midnight, I'll have almost, what, four and a half hours. Ain't much you can do in four and a half hours. Or I can sit here until Friday morning, it's what, six, 
So five o'clock Friday morning, I'll have a fresh log book, which is what I'm gonna do. Now tomorrow, I stopped at the Laws 20 some miles south, it was slam full. There was no bobtail parking or nothing. So I'm not even gonna try to go down there tonight. In the morning, I'm gonna see about going getting PC and driving down there so I get a shower. I got food there in a truck. I'm out of food, most of the food, because I ain't been to a grocery store in two and a half weeks. Bob bought some chicken and some other stuff in the service plaza. So I could sit here if I have to. We'll see how froggy I feel in the morning. But I drove right at 3,400, almost 3,500 paid in the last week. So I need to let my log book calm down and get a 34. There ain't much you can do in four and a half hours, especially up here in the Northeast. Today, I started, like I said, at the TA. I did an eight. Got close to Carlisle, did a two, and then came up here because I didn't have enough time to get up here from leaving Wheeling, West Virginia without taking a two hour break to finish my quote unquote 10 hour break. I was probably 20 to 30 minutes short, so. I went ahead and took the two and drove on up, got fuel, drove on up here. And here I sit, all broken hearted. So that's what's up with me. Doing the 34 and wonderful, more rainy Pottsville, Pennsylvania. I got this truck washed Monday because I had to get the trailer washed out in Kansas City. My load finally got done seven hours. Uh, seven hours late so i got to drive some at night monday night windshield looked like a war zone truck looks like a war zone with all the bugs and cicadas and stuff and i've been in rain several times today i was rain i think a couple times yesterday it's raining now so i know the farmers the farmers fields are in bad shape there's a lot of areas the weeds are three times the size of the corn or soybeans, the crops in the ground. A lot of areas the crops are this tall. So I doubt it's gonna be knee high by the 4th of July for the corn. And those weeds, they can't go and get in the fields because it's so wet. A lot of farmers still hasn't finished planting yet. So you need to pray the rain will stop for a little bit so these farmers get the crops in the ground and get it everything tr sprayed and done when it needs to be done because a lot of these fields are looking bad you all have a great day thumb up the video if you're new hit that subscribe button i'll talk to you next time i'm sitting here watching the rain